Scott Reviews here, and today we're going to be talking about some news that has gone viral. Bill Hunt from the Digital Bits posted an article saying that through his industry and retail sources that Disney has no plans on making future 4K discs for live action films outside of new releases and Star Wars and Marvel related. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about what that means to the consumer and also what that means for the future of physical media right after the jump. Let's go! Now before we get into it, can you please like, share, and subscribe? Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification so it lets you know when videos drop. The thing that we're seeing right now with physical media is that year after year, sales have been declining. However, during this current pandemic, there's been a bubble. While other major studios are still turning out things, Disney doesn't have nearly as much of an upcoming release slate. Pretty much this affects Touchstone, Hollywood Pictures, Disney's own live action films, and also 20th Century Fox. The problem is, is that a lot of Fox movies, and there are a lot of Fox movies that fans love, that don't fit into the Disney Plus formula. Now, Bill Hunt did say something about that uh, James Cameron movies probably won't uh, be affected by this, but it also is surprising to have this news come out, particularly when very recently, Disney Plus subscribers were alienated with the fact that they have to pay $30 extra plus their $7 a month to even see Mulan. I think the biggest concern for this pertaining to Fox titles are the Fox Searchlight movies. I'm talking about movies that haven't gotten even a Blu-ray, like Thank You for Smoking or Waitress. Movies like Fight Club are not necessarily Disney Plus friendly or uh, Joyride, Master and Commander. Like, it's more like the adult-focused movies that I think are gonna get hit hard. I have Disney+, Plus, but I also buy discs. I also buy movies. I like having the physical copy with me. And the other thing, too, is that if it gets dropped on Disney+, Plus, but if you have that disc, you have that disc. You own it. It is your copy. No one's going to change it. Also, no one's gonna alter it randomly, like Splash. Now, Bill Hunt does mention about licensing these movies or the potential of licensing to your Shout Factories, to your Criterions, to your Arrow videos, which is likely, but he did also specify that he has not heard of, of that yet. And I think if Disney wants to get out of the home video market, which it seems the concerning trend that I'm seeing is that a lot of movie studios want to go streaming. But to some of these boutique labels, they could pick up the ball and start putting out these amazing special editions. Some of the things that we've seen through Arrow is incredible, like with their Robocop set or with their Waterworld set. Um, and then also like with Flash Gordon, um, coming soon and Pitch Black, they're taking the ball and they're putting stuff in 4K UHD. And Shout Factory just started with a Deer Hunter. So I think that these boutique labels would do very well if they were given the task. So tell me, what movies do you wanna see in 4K and what movies do you hope will come out either through Disney or through Shout Factory or do you just uh, stream everything? Do you not, uh, own any physical copies. Leave those in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will catch you guys on the next one.